Yes, my dear friend, welcome back to the channel. This is Salon's Blog. I'm excited to be back this morning. Yeah, wherever you are on the globe, you are highly, highly welcome to this special edition. Don't go anywhere. Don't ever leave this channel yet because so much to talk about this morning. It is a beautiful Sunday morning, the last day of the Premier League. So much is expected. And I know that you know that tonight is going to be very exciting. The Premier League is wide open for whoever that, in fact, some teams will have to do something favor. West Ham will have to do Man City favor, and Everton will have to favor um, uh, uh, Arsenal. In, in, in either way, even if Everton favors Arsenal and Arsenal wins the game, Man City must lose. And if Man City even play a draw with West Ham, Arsenal is over. Dear friend, it's going to be exciting tonight. I wish that I could have 10 screens, 10 TVs. But I can just watch all the matches, you know, concurrently. But the truth is, it's going to be very exciting, and I'll be right here. I'll make sure that when the game is over, I will not delay this one. Post match reaction, it will, I will not delay it. We will see who's going to be celebrating. Is it going to be Arsenal after 20 years, or is it going to be Man City? Pep Guardiola, that man, honestly, I will prefer Man City. Uh, how do you call it? I will prefer Arsenal to win. That is the truth. Dear friend, I will prefer Arsenal to win. And that is why I'm going to be starting from here, dear friend. Yes, I will prefer Arsenal to win tonight. Arsenal is my take. But, but you know, Arsenal fans, eh, hmm. some of them, eh, they can disturb me. They can disturb. They can disturb. So tonight, I'm going to be playing the, against them. Um, let me tell you, if you, are, if you, know, if you have a friend with an Arsenal fan, tell him that, I said tonight I'm against them. Tonight they will not have it easy. I am telling you, <laughs> dear friend, they will not have it easy with me tonight. Arsenal fans, you know, it's very interesting. 20 years, and this is how I want tonight's game to go. As if you're an Arsenal fan, or if you have a friend who's an Arsenal fan, tell him to listen to this message. Share the video. If, in fact, share it to your Arsenal fans. How I want Man City and Arsenal game to go tonight. Minute two. Arsenal one, Everton zero. <laughs> That's minute two. Yes, Man City zero, West Ham one. Listen carefully. At halftime, Arsenal three, Everton one. Do you see the equation here now? <laughs> uh -huh. Man City zero, West Ham two. That is at halftime. Then Arsenal fans will be celebrating. Yes, we are winning. Yes, we are winning. Yes, we are winning because they are leading. Arsenal 3, Everton 1. Man City 0, West Ham 2. So Arsenal fans will be celebrating. Yes, we are winning. We are winning. We are winning. We are lifting a trophy. Then Arsenal fans, once they finish celebrating, yes, minute 78, Arsenal 4, Everton 2. Man City 2, West Ham 2. Eh? Then you that's when you're going to be seeing Arsenal fans on their feet. Is it Man City 2, West Ham 2? Dear friend, 90 plus 3 minutes, Arsenal 4, Everton 4. Hey, there's trouble, there's trouble, there's trouble, there's trouble for Arsenal fans tonight. <laughs> Arsenal 4, Everton 4. Man City 5, West Ham 2. Who carries the trophy? Man City, Man City, Man City, Man City. Arsenal fans, don't come after me. Don't try it. Don't try to come after me. This, today's program, it's all going to be full of fun. It is all about fun. The game could go either way. Both Arsenal and Man City have friends on both sides, and it could go either way. But the truth is that Arsenal, actually, they deserve this season. In fact, the coach, Mikel Ateta, deserved to win the trophy this season. He's done an amazing job, and he deserves a trophy. So I've just created this for fun, okay? Yes, let it be a fun, all right? Okay, quickly, we get to some other interesting matters. There is a great news. <laughs> well, let's say a great news. Brighton, 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 Brighton. There has been an announcement. Deserve be living Brighton this summer. Yes, the announcement, he made an announcement on Friday. He said, I'm very sad to be leaving Brighton, but I'm very proud of what my players and staff have achieved with the support of everyone at the club. 
and our amazing fans in the past two historical seasons. We have agreed to end my time at Brighton so that the club and I can continue to work in a way that suits each of us best, following our own ideas and visions, as well as our work and human values. This is Dizebi. I have really enjoyed an intense and challenging two years working in the Premier League, not least competing in four major competitions this season. Living now provides me with time to take a break before deciding on my future plans. That is coming from the Zerbi, Brighton manager, living finally. You know, there has been talks of Chelsea fans, the Zerbi to Chelsea. We wanted him. Meanwhile, this is a code that Chelsea, the same Pochettino beat him almost about four times. Yes, this is not alone. We beat him four times. Yeah, Chelsea fans were like, the Zerbi, won't the Zerbi, won't the Zerbi. Finally, the fact remains, Poch is staying. The Zerbi is living. And guess what? I see the Zerbi going to Bayern Munich. Yeah. I see the Zerbi going to Bayern Munich. And Graham Potter coming back to Brighton. That is what is going to be happening. You remember the Zerbi took over from Graham Potter when Chelsea signed Graham Potter? Yes. So now he's going back to... The Zerbi is going to Germany, to Bayern Munich. That is what I, 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 I'm seeing coming up. Because Thomas Tuchel, they tried to convince him to stay over the week. There was still misunderstanding of the contract issue. They tried to convince him. They, they made a terrible mistake by announcing the, the departure of Thomas Tuchel mid-season, when things were not working for the club, when things were not going well. Since then, the club started to win games, even to the Champions League semifinals. Now they, they want to convince him to stay. And he, he told them, I'm sorry. No, you guys have done your worst to me. I'm not staying. Tuchel, I see him in Manchester United next season. Tuchel, very soon we'll hear the announcement. I, I'm seeing Thomas Tuchel in Manchester United. Deserve to Bayern Munich. Uh, Graham Potter to Brighton. M managers that are going to be... <laughs> this, this summer, don't go to anywhere. Stay with this channel because I'll be coming with exclusives. Yes, after tonight's game from tomorrow, it's going to be exclusives for you. Breaking news upon breaking news. Here we go. Here we go. And on that note, dear friend, Pochettino speaking last time, he said something. Mauricio Pochettino, he said, it. he said, we are talking this morning that it's not enough to be on the sixth position. We are not going to celebrate that. We are not going to take a picture because we finished in fifth or sixth position because I think it's not enough for the club. For the fans, the sporting directors, and the owners and the players. Poch is saying that he is not satisfied with the sixth position or fifth position. Listen, he get it, he got it right. He's absolutely right. Next season, the bar will be higher for Chelsea. The same excuses won't fly. The excuse that we are a young team or we are plot with so much injuries. No, next season it will not that those excuses will no longer will no longer hold water. Any staff, any player that will try to use the same excuse, that player or that star doesn't deserve to be in Chelsea. This team needs to be in the Champions League next season. Simple. Well, before I continue, dear friend, here we go, here we go. The first year we go for Chelsea before even a window wide open. Here we go. Estaval to Chelsea is here we go, according to Fabrizio Romano. Estaval, yes, the, the young, talented player from Palmeiras. Yes, here we go. The deal is verbally agreed between Chelsea and Palmeiras, despite rumors of Bayern and other clubs. No other club entered the race because Chelsea had Chelsea had a control, had a player in control, actually. Chelsea had a player in control. On the contract, on the salary and on the project. Chelsea had a player in control on the contract and on the salary. Listen, Chelsea got a green light for William Estaval, who is considered one of the best talents in South America and one of the best talents in the world. Here we go. He can only play for Chelsea in the year 2025-2026 season. This season, he's still 17 until he turned 18, then only he qualifies to play in England due to work permit issues. If you are not above 18 years, you cannot be employed legally in the UK. 
Therefore, he cannot be granted. In fact, as a foreigner, as a foreigner, you must be above 18 to qualify to receive work permit in UK. That is how it is. So he can only get to play for Chelsea when he turns 18 years. Yeah, I know most of you are learning something this morning from me. Dear friends, well, 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 well. Before I continue, players who massively improve under Pochettino. My time is up, but I want to stretch a little bit this morning. Don't go anywhere. There's so much to talk about. Give me another five minutes. Players who massively improve under Pochettino this season, dear friend. Yes. Kopama, number one. Conor Gallagher, number two. Makukrela and Nicholas Jackson. These are the players that massively improved under Poch this season. Yeah, If you know how the, the, the league started, how the, we started this season, you know that these four players, they massively improved under Pochettino. Now, players who, who improved moderately. The first group that I mentioned, they are players who massively improved. Kopama, Konogalaga, Kukurela, and Nicolas Jackson. But players who improved moderately under Pochettino this first season. Malogusto, Noni Madweke, Trevor Chaloba, and George Petrovic. These four, they improved moderately. Now, players who are slowly improving. Going to next season, players who are slowly improving. Moiska Saido, Mikhailo Moedric, Benoit Badoshelli, and Levi Cowell. You can also tell me what you think about these players that mentioned their names. Do you think any of them deserve to be under this list? Now, players who are yet to improve under Pochettino, going into the summer and into the second season of Mauricio Pochettino, Enzo Fernandez, Axel Di Sassi, Ben Chiwell, and Robert Sanchez. These are players who are yet to improve under Mauricio Pochettino in his first season at Chelsea. Who would you add or remove from each category? Share your thoughts and feel free to make up your own list of players. Let me hear from you in the comment section, my dear friend. I told you this is a beautiful morning and I'm so excited to come here and present to you this special edition. I will be back later in the day for exclusives and my team lineup prediction. Yes. The only player that I will not see in the lineup tonight, hmm, you know who? Our captain is James for the red card he received. He's missing tonight's game. And he will miss the first three games of next season. He will miss the next three games of next season. Those are the, that is what I will, I will expect. Now, quickly, before I let you go, today could be the last time we see Conor Gallagher in Chelsea jersey or wearing the Chelsea badge. Tonight could be the last time we see Conor Gallagher with Chelsea or playing for Chelsea, at least for now. Maybe in the near future, he might come back to Chelsea and sign a new contract. Maybe after two, three years, another coach might like to, you know, maybe they might insert buyback clause, buyback clause. Yes, so tonight might be the last time you're going to be seeing Conor Gallagher, Trevor Chaloba, and Mark Kukrela play or start a game for Chelsea. My heart is broken though, but we have no choice. We are not the ones in control of the transfer window, dear friend. Aston Villa are interested in signing Chelsea midfielder Conor Gallagher. There's a new interest from Aston Villa now in addition to Tottenham. With Midfielder possibly forming part of make way deal for John Duran. There is understood to be a good relationship at board level between both clubs, according to Matt Law. According to Matt Law. So, well, finally, dear friend, there is a departure which we need to celebrate. And I will expect Chelsea to celebrate him. And there is so much prepared. The owners are ready to celebrate tonight with one special player, a legend for that matter, dear friend, Thiago Silva's last game for Chelsea. Mm -hmm. He is indeed a legend of the club. Tonight is his last game, and he will say goodbye to Chelsea, at least as a player. He might come back in the future on a different role, but for now, the boys here at Chelsea have to do more next year. They need to do more. If you look at the games, the fans never left the team. Never. They booed us off a little, but they are always there. This is Thiago Silva speaking to Sky Sport ahead of tonight's game. Said to, next season, the boys will have to do more. And tonight, be ready to celebrate it. Listen, it is expected that the armband, the captain bands, 
we given to him, it is expected. And that should be done to say a farewell to him. The armband, he will be the one to he should be the one to lead the team out from the tunnel and to play the 90 minutes. That is what is expected tonight from our coaches to do. Be ready to celebrate Tiago Silva, the legend. Dear friend, on this note, let me say a very good morning to you. This is a beautiful day here in Southeast Asia, Malaysia, to be precise. Like the video, share the video, and let me hear from you in the comment section. And if you are new here, subscribe to the channel on that notification bell. So that in case of any exclusives, you'll be first to be notified. I love you all. Enjoy your day. I shall be back with my team lineup, or my team predicted lineup before three hours to the game. Three hours to the game. I will deliver that to you. I'll see you when you see me the next one, dear friend. Shalom and peace.